Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. Today, we would like to present to you a video that was originally posted on December 2nd, 2020, and this discusses the prophecies of St. Piscios and how Christ will intercede during these last times. God has a plan, which is described by St. Piscios on a single page. It is a well-known text in one of Elder Piscios' books entitled Speech B, Spiritual Awakening, which is published by the Holy Monastery of St. John the Evangelist and the theologian in Suroti Thessaloniki in Greece. Listen to what it says on page 188. A nun asks the then living St. Piscios, Elder, in these difficult years and in these last times, will Christ intervene? That same question that is being posed to us in the current times has been asked before in 1994 when the elder fell asleep. That's almost 30 years ago. Thirty years ago, they were thinking that they were going through tough times. Imagine now if they were living nowadays. I repeat, Elder, in these difficult years, will Christ actually intervene? And listen to St. Piscio's answer. What a vision he had, a true prophet. He had a prophetic gift, and not only a prophetic gift, but he also had the gift of being able to interpret the prophecies. You know that this is a really difficult thing to do. Yes, the elder answers. You see, someone who has suffered injustice, he is entitled to receive divine help. Many times he is visited by the saints, by Panagia, or by Christ himself so that he can be saved. All the more so now that people are encountering such a difficult situation. Now, it is just a storm. Are you listening, he says, that now it is just a storm? A little occupation, stronghold by Satan the Antichrist, who will receive a big slap from Christ so that all nations will be shocked, and then peace will prevail to the world for many years. This time Christ will provide an opportunity for his people, his creation, to be saved. Will Christ ever abandon his own people. He, that is, Christ, will intervene when people will reach a complete dead end so that he can save them from the hands of the Antichrist. Many will return to Christ in a spiritual peace will come over the whole world for many years. Did you listen to what is in store for us? What was written 30 years ago concerns our current generation. I repeat, in a spiritual peace shall come to the world and will last for years, but this will be preceded by a jolt that all nations will experience. All nations will be shocked by this. And indeed, now you see the problems are not just local, national, but worldwide problems. Some people will say they connect Christ's intervention to his second coming. However, I cannot infer this. And look how discreet 
and humble the saint was. My mind tells me that this is not his second coming, when Christ will come as judge, but only as an intervention, since many big events, he refers to Revelation, have not happened just yet. Thus, we cannot talk about the Antichrist in a second coming, which some people have filled the internet with such things. These are fake prophecies. These prophecies are wrong interpretations. He repeats, My mind tells me that this is not his second coming, when Christ will come as judge, but only as an intervention, since many big events have yet to happen. Christ will indeed intervene. He will slap the entire system. He will trample down the evil and turn it eventually into something which is very good. And now listen to some details. The streets will be filled with small chapels. Outside the buses there will be icons. This is how the gospel will be spread to the whole world. This is why, my good woman, that the internet is indeed needed to preach the gospel to the entire world. Now, it is only the beginning. We have lots of work to do, and then Christ will come as a judge to judge his people. His intervention to help his people is one thing. In Christ's last judgment is indeed another thing. Are you listening? Now we will experience an intervention. God may intervene in many different ways. Therefore, please, those of you who are here and those of you who watch and or listen to us, make sure that you are in the new ark of Christ. The words that I have read to you from the Soroti books, Gerontissa Philoptia, the abbess of the Soroti monastery, told me, the sinner, that the elder checked or reviewed every line of them, and he guided her by saying, these may include, and others you may not include. The Sorodi books are the most valid from St. Pisios. He checked those before he fell asleep. There will be a time when I will be read, he told her. It is like a will. The authentic ones are the ones by Sorodi. Chaplet of the Divine Will, given to us by Saint Annabel de Francia, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Lord Jesus, we praise you, we love you, we bless you, and we thank you, who are God with the Father and the Holy Spirit, in your holy and eternal divine will. Amen. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass in the divine office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother in Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique Rosary Prayer Book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the Rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a Rosary Prayer Book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.